फोर फाइव पीपल स्किल मिसिंग और राइट सो पिछले टॉपिक्स में कोई क्वेश्चन तो नहीं रिविजन भी करवा लिया था हमने टूडे इज हाँ स्पर्श बोलो सर एक क्वेश्चन था प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन में कि व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वीडीआर सो प्रिंसिपल में वर्किंग लिखेंगे हाँ ओके सर उसमें कुछ नहीं है कोई प्रिंसिपल ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई फिजिक्स का कोई लॉ है जो अप्लाई होता है इट इज जस्ट रिकॉर्डिंग सिस्टम बेसिकली प्रिंसिपल क्या है तो इट कलेक्ट ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वेरियस सोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेरियस सेंसर्स फ्रॉम माइक्रोफोन and saves it in a given file format in the panel recording medium that's all it is doing nothing else okay so thank you yes koi law of physics wahan pe nahi hai koi law of chemistry nahi hai koi principle of space research nahi hai usme nothing no principle just recording system that's all theek hai okay so talking about ais automatic identification system why a device is placed in the bridge naturally it has to have some relevance it must give some leverage to me in the job that i am doing in the in the ship i am a navigator as a navigator my responsibility is to keep the ship safe the personnel safe the environment and the sea all safe cargo also safe so safe navigation is the main responsibility how can i do my job better what are what are the help that i can get to do to achieve this goal <coughs> sorry <sighs> sorry so what information can i have that help me do my job properly number 1 i should be having a chart jisse main navigate karu passage planning ke taur tarike hone chahiye one part when i am out at sea i should be able to see around look out rule number 5 look out by all means kaise zyada se zyada information mile mujhko radar long distance additional lookout binoculars lights people have different kind of lights indications safe navigation how do i do depth milna chahiye mujhko wind ka asar hota hai jahaz pe wind ka speed milna chahiye main kitne speed se chal raha hu various kind of devices are placed in the bridge so that is allowing me to obtain some information by which i am doing my job now in a given situation when there are so many ships around some heavy heavy traffic area there may be certain situation where there is some doubt about one particular ship two particular ship which are proceeding towards me or i am proceeding towards them i can see probably that they are there but who are they what are they doing what course what position what speed they are doing how they are going to pass by me ahead of me stern of me when there is some doubt we want to talk to them how do i call them we just see there is a metal body there i don't know their name i don't know the call sign no positive way of identification in a given situation suppose there are three ships coming towards you all around the same area nazdik nazdik mein hai channel mein hua you want to talk to one particular ship how do you call them you provide vague identification ai is nahi hai jahaz mein agar to <coughs> vague identification kya to aapne position pata kar liya apna jo system hai usse in position ship in position so and so 
आर पास है आपने उसका कोर्स पता कर लिया डूइंग सच एंड सच कोर्स डूइंग सच एंड सच स्पीड हल कलर सो एंड सो रात हो गई तो हल कलर फनल कलर भी नहीं दिखेगा बट अप्रोक्सीमेटली द सेम पोजिशन सेम कोर्स सेम स्पीड ऑल द थ्री शिप्स आर है At the same time, when you are speaking, you are speaking English in Hindi. They are speaking English in Chinese, so there can be miscommunication also, possibly. Isili, there are various kind of common phrases. We have documents, publications where common phrases are provided for ship to ship communication. Common language. He also reads the same. I also read the same. so we have a common language but these are all vague identifications and there can be some kind of difficult situation that may be developed using the technology advancement of technology in 2002 imo said that one should have something like this this device called ais automatic identification system it is an electronic device which provides very positive identification of each ship who are having another ais they also have ais i also have ais both the equipment are communicating with each other they are transmitting to each other मैं ट्रांसमिट करता हूं उनको वो ट्रांसमिट करते हैं मुझको एवरी वन डूइंग टू एवरी वन पॉजिटिव आइडेंटिफिकेशन ही ट्रांसमिट इट्स नेम कॉल साइन आई एम ओ नंबर इवन द टाइप ऑफ शेप वेदर इट इज टैंकर बल्क कैरियर और वॉट एंड द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑल्सो लाइक लेंथ ओवरऑल ब्रेड एंड सर्टन अदर पैरामीटर्स विच मे बी यूजफुल for me to decide certain action that i am going to so this electronic device provides positive identification of the ships who are transmitting their data they are also receiving data if i am transmitting if i have ais i am also transmitting data so all are having information of each other thereby in so many cases i don't need even to talk to them if at all i need i can call by name if i am in the coastal area my transmissions are picked up by the shore station also so even the shore station the bts is also aware of me who am i which nationality what kind of shape what course i am doing what speed i am doing so they are also able to monitor me very closely and they can guide us help us in safe navigation which is the main role of vts to assess the ships navigate safely so this is an electronic device which is a transponder broadcast system or broadcast transponder system broadcast means once i transmit it is for everybody anybody having a receiver can receive <clears throat> so it's broadcast transponder system there are two words broadcast and transponder broadcast means for everyone transponder means it also responds to query agar is se pucha to ye jawab bhi deta electronically automatically not not verbal communication the system itself will receive a request and it will reply to the request so it is a transponder system have you heard the word transponder before yes sir where start radar 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 transponder radar transponder also does not transmit just like that when it receives a signal from x band radar of other ship then it sends back the signal so it responds to 
incoming signal ais also does so it's a broadcast transponder system which is for exchanging information regarding the identification as well as navigational parameters of the ship exchange of information what identification and navigational parameters identification mein kya hoga name call sign imo number type of ship what cargo length overall breadth where is the antenna of the gps located on that ship all these things are related to identification of the ship then it's navigational parameters what are they what is the position what course what speed is she turning or going straight if she is turning at what rate she is turning rate of turn so there can be various navigational parameters also so wo kya kar raha hai wo mujhko pata hai main kya kar raha hu usko pata hai and this is a very solid kind of information it helps me take my action in a much more better way also as we said vts may also assist us with the information that they have about me because i am transmitting signal all this is happening possible because of development of electronics and communication system i will tell you an example what happened in singapore i was on that ship it happened with me i have seen it personally night about 10 10 30 in the night we are in singapore strait third mate on duty i was also on duty on watch we hear on vhf somebody calling us our ship calling by name jaise hi apna naam suna hum kood pade kaun bula raha hai raat mein 10 baje wo bhi singapore mein the third mate responded the vts was calling the lady she called and she said with the course that you are doing you are going to pass over a shoal shallow patch she is saying because of our movement she is saying that i am going to pass over a shallow patch the third mate a uh, mate runs to the chart and sees it and he sees that yes with this course he is going to run over that then we did the alteration and we cleared it now there were ships ahead of us behind us if she was calling with vague identification ship in position so and so doing course so and so sab ek hi direction mein ja rahe hain all maintaining same distance same speed pe ja rahe approximate position same seconds mein difference hoga it would have been difficult to identify whether we are called and in communication system it is the regulation that if, unless you are sure ki you are being called don't respond if you have heard a call but you are not sure whether it is for you don't respond if you have heard a call where you are being called but who is calling don't know then respond who is calling me so <clears throat> i am totally convinced that ais is helpful because i have seen it in action and it has helped our ship in practical situation that i have seen so coming more to the ground this is the background of the whole system why ais what is the relevance of it why we are placing it on board ship so repeating basically it's an electronic device which is working on the vhf very high frequency 
very high frequency is a band of frequency from here to here is called vhf below that from here to below hf uske niche mf medium frequency high frequency very high frequency ultra high frequency these are ranges of frequencies yahan se yahan tak aisa yahan se yahan tak aisa alag alag naam diya hai so ais is a device working in the vhf range और VHF के रेंज के बारे में थोड़ा आइडिया होगा आपको वट इज द रेंज ऑफ द वी एच एफ कितने दूर तक अराउंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द हाइट ऑफ द एंटेना जितना हाइट ऑफ द एंटेना बढ़ता है उतना रेंज बढ़ता है बिकॉज इट इज लाइन ऑफ साइट द ट्रांसमिशन एंड रिसेप्शन सिग्नल शुड बी इन लाइन If they can see each other, then communication will take place. So, although it is thirty forty miles, as we say, but if there is an aircraft, line of sight will be maintained because aircraft is at a height. Then the range can be five hundred miles also, or thousand miles also. Line of sight it has to have. So 30, 40 miles के रेंज में काम करता है इट इज ब्रॉडकास्ट ट्रांसपोंडर सिस्टम द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू एक्सचेंज आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड नेविगेशनल पैरामीटर्स विद अदर शिप्स एंड ऑल्सो ट्रांसमिट सच इंफॉर्मेशन टू द शोर बेस्ड अथॉरिटीज विच इन टर्न एनहेंसेज सेफ्टी ऑफ नेविगेशन so objective is exchange of information but for what purpose what it does objective is to exchange information for what first and foremost purpose of this is enhancing safety of navigation enhance matlab to badhana krishnakant dubey aapka camera on hai of course out of focus okay oh dubey ne chobe sir all right so that's the purpose first purpose is enhancing safety of navigation especially in the coastal region when we are passing by in the coastal region we know that because of our transmission we are being tracked by the shore authorities we are always knowing that our position name course speed etc all is being monitored by the shore authorities so we try not to do any kind of mischief we try not to do any kind of pollution we try not to throw out things in the water so this helps in controlling maritime pollution also so the second purpose that ais also achieves is maritime pollution control third purpose that it achieves is in sar situation search and rescue situations there can be one ship in distress the shore authorities know about all the ships they can call a particular ship please proceed for rescue ek nazdeek mein hogi jahaz usko nahi call karenge because it is tanker aur wahan distress to aag lagi hui hai to tanker ko nahi bhejenge because they know somebody else so it can also assist in search and rescue situation So, what are the three purposes? Three purposes: navigation, maritime pollution, and search and rescue pollution. Yes. Very good. First one is enhancing safety of navigation, controlling maritime pollution. Third thing, assisting in search and rescue. 
However, this is the main objective of AIS. Positive identification, exchange of information, which helps in safety of navigation. Working on VHF frequencies. Range is 30, 40 miles. Of course, it is for close range navigation, not for long range. In the vicinity, I want to see all the ships in my vicinity, I can see. So communication system is there, but so many communication system we have seen. Either we are typing on computer, sending, receiving messages, or we are talking on the phone or VHF. So what kind of communication is happening here? This exchange of information, the parameters of other shape, we are reading it in text on a small dabba. There is a screen on which I see the information that particular shape, such and such name, call sign, IMO number, course, position, speed, nationality, etc., etc. So this system is having basically an electronic all the electronics are in a box which is also fitted with a screen which displays a very minimum amount of data at one time a small screen showing only small amount of data but we can see more data as we scroll down left and right up and down scrolling is there so we can scroll it down this dabba is called mkd minimal keypad and display MKD, the dabba that you have seen in the name of AIS, in technical terms, we call it MKD, minimal keypad and display. So this dabba is of course there, but it is working on VHF. So there has to be a VHF transmitter. It is also receiving on VHF. So there has to be a VHF receiver. So there are certain components of the AIS system. The whole of the components, as we have seen in case of VDR, that there is data management unit, recording module, final recording medium, alarm module, etc., etc. So there were certain components of the VDR. Similarly, we have certain components of AI system. So first and for foremost, there will be a VHF trans transceiver, transceiver, transmitter receiver together is a transceiver. VHF transceiver, VHF transceiver ke liye VHF antenna bhi hona chahiye, transmit karna, receive karna. Then there is something called new, something called TDMA receiver. There are two TDMA receivers. TDMA stands for Time Division Multiple Access. So this is something special kind of receiver, which is the heart and soul of this communication system. VHF to humare paas channel 16 wala bhi hai. But that is for voice. Information is voice. Here the information is digital because digital transmission and it is displayed onto screen. So there are two TDMA receivers. We will talk more about this more in detail. Two TDMA receivers plus a DSC receiver, digital selective calling DSC receiver. Now, by the way, when we are talking about DSC, does it relate to distress? Kiske kaan mein distress, distress, distress alert? Gum rai? Sunai pad rai kisi ko? DSC, is it all about distress? No, sir. Why not? No, sir. Good. Why not? Uh, for safety. 
अर्जेंसी मैसेज हो जाए सेफ्टी एंड अर्जेंसी मतलब इमरजेंसी से ही रिलेटेड है ये डीएससी मतलब इमरजेंसी ठीक है डिस्ट्रेस नहीं डिस्ट्रेस अर्जेंसी सेफ्टी डीएससी मतलब डिस्ट्रेस अर्जेंसी सेफ्टी नाउ एम आई करेक्ट और रॉन्ग यस सर व्हाट रॉन्ग यस और राइट यस Yes, I'm waiting. Yes to what? Chup ne bato ise. Yes, Chetan, go ahead. No, sir. Yes, sir. Isme hi, matlab thoda confusion hai. Maine ki DSC aur distress matlab hota kya hai? Dono andar channel 16 aur 17 dono alag hai na. To iska concept thoda nahi samajh mein aata, sir. Okay, ठीक है. DSC जैसे नाम है digital selective calling. मैं कुछ digit digit से किसी एक बंदे को call कर सकता हूँ. आप mobile phone है आपके पास? मैं mobile का number आपका dial करता हूँ. मेरे मोबाइल से डेटा निकलती है टावर इधर हो तो भी पकड़ेगा उधर हो उधर हो कहीं भी हो मतलब मैं ट्रांसमिट तो सब तरफ कर रहा हूं सभी के पास मोबाइल है सभी डायरेक्शन में लेकिन घंटी किसकी बजती है जिसका नंबर डायल किया है यस सर तो डिजिटल सेलेक्टिवली आई एम कॉलिंग समबडी मैं yes. ट्रांसमिट तो सब तरफ करता हूं लेकिन सिर्फ एक ही जगह घंटी बजती है करेक्ट यस सर तो दैट इज डिजिटल सेलेक्टिव कॉलिंग डिजिटल सेलेक्टिव कॉलिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वेयर आई कैन कॉल वन स्टेशन और कपल ऑफ स्टेशन और ऑल स्टेशन जैसे रिक्वायरमेंट हो वैसे मैं कॉल कर सकता हूं सेलेक्टिव तो दैट इज about type of communication method of communication whether i can use it for distress urgency or routine communication safety that's not the matter so ais is also having a dsc receiver which is used for channel management like said it is about communication system so this is having a dsc receiver for channel management thoda sa baat karenge baad mein gps module ho sakta hai isme kyunki hame transmit karna hai apna position to position kahin se milna chahiye tabhi to transmit karega ais is not a gp yes shivesh nothing sir nothing okay so it may have an inbuilt gps jaise mobile mein ek gps bana hua hota hai inbuilt waise ya to inbuilt gps ho sakta hai ya dusra jo gps hai hum usse cable connection de sakte hain agar gps hoga to antenna bhi hoga gps and of course that dabba mkd that is also part of the system minimal keypad and display plus there will be many communication ports jaise vdr mein tha ye sensor se sensor se se sab data collect karke record karta tha ab ais kya kar raha hai data collect karke transmit kar raha hai mera gyro kya kehta hai so many degrees ais will transmit because i am doing so and so degrees so gyro is saying let us say 322 that 322 data will come to ais ais will transmit my course 322 degrees what is my position gps such and such latitude longitude ais will collect transmit position so and so rate of turn indicator gps sorry jaro ke bagal mein hi hota hai saath mein वहां से डेटा आ रही है 
rate of turn zero degrees steady course no turning so there are multiple marine communication ports which is used in case of shipboard communication between equipment so these are the components of vhf i'm uh, sorry ais now what we are going to do we are going to share the screen the initial first part the introduction part and all that you are going to read once again revise see if it is understandable we will see if there is some new word which is coming which requires explanation otherwise introduction purposes and the components of the uh, ais is what we are going to talk about so allow me to share the screen of course there will be also requirement as to where this is to be fitted on what kind of ships this ais is required the carriage requirement that also we will see aur uh, acha wo baad mein dekhenge in fact all right one second let me open the file first my screen visible yes sir okay are ye kya ho gaya all right as you can see this yellow dots are the various ships which are there in the world this is world view of ais transmissions we said that it is working on vhf the range is 30 40 miles they are then how we are getting this aerial view how we are getting the satellite view because these signals are also picked up by the satellite which are 1000 km above line of sight communication still happening from surface of the earth direct into the space so all the ais are picked up by the satellites and that is how you are able to find out on the internet where is your ship right now so that is just for the fun of it so what we are going to know when we have completed this topic the objectives purpose by the exchange of information the frequencies and coverage vhf we have talked about but what exact frequencies are used for this ship to ship data exchange is happening components of ais okay it got repeated twice so components that we have seen so what is there on this screen is we have already done then there will be more things coming just read through introduction basically 
regulation 19 of chapter 5 of solas deals with carriage requirement of electronic equipment or bridge equipment so to say so in 2000 imo came out with a resolution to change this chapter and include ais in that chapter that ships will be required to carry ais as well in general what it will do it will provide information to other ships in the vicinity it will provide information to the shore based authorities and all this will happen automatically without human intervention this is a self operated system i mean all you have to do is switch on after that it is going to transmit and receive all by itself at no stage human intervention is required for regular communication between devices of course the information transmitted may have to be changed sometimes we will see that later next what will the ais do upar se niche do bar padhiye it will transmit it will receive and it will also exchange data with shore based authorities next what is ais remember that this exchange of information happens automatically next a vhf transceiver for transmission reception two vhf tdma receivers jiske bare mein detail mein hum alag se baat karenge basically again a method of communication or what we call communication protocol we have one vhf dsc and uh, dsc receiver we have vhf antenna there can be an inbuilt gps or maybe external gps if gps module is there maybe a gps antenna the minimal keypad and display the dabba that you see on on the bridge and multiple interfaces available for connecting various sensor devices gps gyro etc etc rate of turn indicator so these are the components of ais
Any questions? सबके दिमाग में क्या क्या चल रहा है एनी क्वेश्चन सर ये जीपीएस मॉड्यूल का क्या मतलब है सर मोबाइल आपका क्या करता है आपका मोबाइल किस चीज के लिए है कॉलिंग के लिए सर कॉलिंग रिसीविंग मैसेज वगैरह वगैरह तो जीपीएस का काम कैसे करता है जीपीएस भी सर सिग्नल रिसीव करता है कैसे करेगा मॉड्यूल उसमें जीपीएस का चिप होगा तब ना यस सर वही जीपीएस का चिप इसमें भी है इसलिए वीएचएफ का काम तो कर ही रहा है कॉलिंग रिसीविंग तो कर ही रहा है मतलब ट्रांसमिशन रिसेप्शन तो कर रहा है बट जीपीएस का सिग्नल भी रिसीव कर सकता है ये क्योंकि उसमें मॉड्यूल है वो सिग्नल रिसीव करके प्रोसेस करके पोजिशन बताएगा आपको ठीक यस सर यस तो व्हाट इज द पर्पस और व्हाट आर द पर्पसेस ऑफ ए आई एस फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस इज एनहैंसिंग सेफ्टी ऑफ नेविगेशन सेकंड कंट्रोलिंग मैरिटाइम पोल्यूशन असिस्टिंग इन सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू तीनों का सिनारियो हमने डिस्कस किया कि किस केस तरीके से इट इज एनहेंसिंग सेफ्टी ऑफ नेविगेशन एग्जाम्पल भी दिया आपको पर्सनल लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस भी बताया और थियोरिटिकल सिचुएशन भी बताया यू आर ट्राइंग टू कॉल समबडी बट डोंट नो इज नेम वे आइडेंटिफिकेशन कंट्रोलिंग मैरी टाइम पोल्यूशन उसके लिए भी बताया You are under surveillance all the time when you are in coastal waters. So, in the coastal waters, when somebody is watching you all the time, you will generally refrain from doing anything wrong. So, similar to VDR, which was promoting best practices in the beach. this is also promoting best practices of maritime pollution control or protection of maritime environment bridge mein aapki awaaz record hoti hai to aap ulte seedhe nahi bolte yahan pe aap bahar mein sail kar rahe hain to bahar kuch nahi phekte because everybody knows where you are who you are then assisting in search and rescue that also we discussed now coming more to the ground basics of the ais as we said it is working on vhf channels vhf frequency so basically the vhf is a frequency range from 30 to 300 megahertz this is the vhf range but this whole thing vhf is not given to maritime use because this has to be used by the aeronautical services also land based services also so in this there is one range of frequencies which is called <clears throat> maritime band so the maritime vhf band is from 156 to 174 megahertz this is maritime vhf band <clears throat> these frequencies are it are they lying within vhf above yes sir yes meter mein hai ya nahi hai ya nahi yes sir so this yes, is sir. this is the maritime band 
और सारे वीएचएफ की फ्रीक्वेंसी जो होती है हमारे जहाजों में सब इन्हीं के बीच में होता है चैनल 16, चैनल 16 इज 156.8 मेगाहर्ट्ज। सो दैट इज चैनल 16। सिमिलरली फॉर एआईएस, आई आर टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज प्रोवाइडेड there are two fixed frequencies which are used by ais devices the two frequencies are known as ais1 and ais2 frequency these two frequencies are 161.0 Zero to five megahertz, and AIS two is one six two point nine seven five. If I'm not mistaken, up or niche na kar diya. These are okay. Ulta kar diya tha. These are the two frequencies. AIS one, AIS two, and these are the frequencies they have been given a channel name also channel is 87b and 88b <clears throat> and both are used for different purposes basically same purpose but in different services one is simplex for ship to ship communication the other one is duplex for ship to shore communication the word simplex and duplex might be confusing in general simplex is one time reception one time transmission transmission kar rahe hain to reception band receive kar rahe hain to transmission band जैसे आपके वॉकी टॉकी में होता है बटन दबाया तो ट्रांसमीटर चालू रिसेप्शन खत्म बटन छोड़ा तो रिसेप्शन चालू ट्रांसमिशन खत्म बट मोबाइल में ऐसा करते हैं क्या हम मोबाइल फोन में नो सर तो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सर्विस वी आर यूजिंग इन मोबाइल फोन Duplex. Duplex we are using. Same time transmission and reception. आपने पीटीटी का नाम सुना होगा कब मोबाइल सर्विस में सुना है फोन में पीटीटी मोड में काम करे पुश टू टॉक पुश टू टॉक तो वो सिंप्लेक्स मोड में आ जाता है पुश टू टॉक इज बेसिकली सिंप्लेक्स मोड बटन प्रेस करेंगे तो बात करेंगे छोड़ेंगे तो रिसीव करेंगे <coughs> so these are the frequencies vhf range we have already discussed that it is having a range of 30 to 40 miles in general point to point communication but of course jaise mobile ka range hum badha lete hain junglon mein bhi hame network milta hai kaise milta hai to tower laga dete hain waisa tower vhf mein bhi lagaya ja sakta hai and we can increase the range in coastal areas so these are the two dedicated frequencies allotted by itu itu is international telecommunication union these are all international bodies which regulate the international usage of resources just a who for world health unicef for children's welfare imo for maritime safety itu for radio communication security council for international peace etc etc itu is dealing with standardization of communication throughout the world 
channel 16 what we use here anywhere in the world you go it is same channel 16 how is it becoming possible because itu is regulating that So even EIS is something similar. Your ship will be going in this area of the world, that area of the world. So everywhere it should communicate with other ships in the vicinity. Now you're in Chinese waters, there will be Chinese EIS. Now you are going to Australia, you are going to Pacific, you are going to US, South America. Everywhere the same thing should happen. So standardizing the frequency all vhf i mean all ais must use same vhf frequency so that communication can be awaaz clear nahi hai koi kuch bol raha hai somebody said something All right. Now, how this communication becomes possible? <clears throat> how are the AIS devices talking to each other? What I feel <clears throat> if in a classroom there are so many people sitting, and if they all start talking to each other, so there will be chaos. किसी को किसी की बात सुनाई नहीं पड़ेगी सब जंबल हो जाएगा हो गया या नहीं ये सर हो जाएगा हो जाएगा आपने बहुत बार वीएचएफ पे सुना होगा आप किसी को कॉल करना चाहते हैं चैनल 16 पे और कोई फिलिपिनो मंकी और पता नहीं क्या क्या उल्टे सीधे फ्रेजेस बोलते रहते हैं उसी के ऊपर कोई कुछ कॉल कर रहा है कोई कुछ कर रहा है कुछ कर रहा है तो रेडियो कम्युनिकेशन में भी इंटरफेरेंस होएगा वैसे ही क्यॉस हो जाएगा सो हाउ टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल द शिप्स व्हिच आर देयर इफ दे आल्सो ट्रांसमिट स्टार्ट ट्रांसमिटिंग जब उनका मन करे तो फिर से उनके बीच में क्यॉस हो जाएगा इंटरफेरेंस विल बी देयर सो हाउ टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल द शिप्स are able to transmit data to each other and there is no confusion there is no interference so for this purpose a special type of communication protocol method is used called tdma time division multiple access the AIS devices use this protocol TDMA to communicate and communicate without interference. How is that happening? Take the case of the classroom once again. There are so many people sitting in the classroom. How to ensure that everybody is talking and everyone is also listening and without interference is it okay if one boy transmits he is speaking while everyone else is only listening so chalega come everybody will yes, be sir. able to listen yes sir Later now suppose later. that he has finished talking उसने अपना बात खत्म कर लिया नाउ अनदर पर्सन स्टार्ट्स टू स्पीक एंड एवरीवन इज लिसनिंग सो इफ एवरीवन इज स्पीकिंग वन एट अ टाइम तो मुझे सबकी बात समझ में आ जाएगी उसने ये कहा उसने ये कहा उसने ये कहा सही बात Yes, sir. But this can happen only 
इफ वी डिवाइड द टाइम कि इतने से इतने में पहला बच्चा बोलेगा इसमें से इतने में दूसरा बच्चा बोलेगा इतने टाइम में तीसरा बोलेगा सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड द टाइम फॉर ईच ऑफ द पीपल एंड एवरीबडी विल ट्रांसमिट ऑन हिज ओन टाइम ओनली इज दैट ओके सो टाइम इज डिवाइडेड और उसी डिवाइडेड टाइम में स्लॉट्स में एवरी वन इज ट्रांसमिटिंग ऑन दियर टाइम ओनली जिसकी जो टाइम अलॉटेड है everybody will speak in their own time only when they are not the time is not there they will only listen so we are having a time which is divided and multiple people are using the same time slots and that is what is tdma time division multiple access do we understand what is time division multiple access nahi sir samajh nahi aaya sir nahi okay abhi kaun si class chal rahi hai sir bridge equipment bridge equipment panchvi class hai haan ji sir kitne se kitne baje hoti hai sir round subah bhi hoti hai shaam ko bhi hoti hai 1.5 ghanta hoti hai sir lagbhag 2:30 टू थर्टी टू थ्री थर्टी टाइम नहीं है तो आज आपकी सुबह से शाम तक की छह क्लासेस थी एक एक घंटे की क्लास बांट दी सबको पता है की किसके टाइम किस क्लास में है तो पहली क्लास जिनका था वो आए अपने क्लास में बोल के गए मैं उनके क्लास में नहीं गया था आपकी दूसरी तीसरी चौथी क्लास हुई मैं नहीं गया था बट मुझको अपना शेड्यूल मालूम था मेरा टाइम जब आएगा तब मैं जाऊंगा टू थर्टी को मैं आया कि नहीं यहाँ तो आज का टाइम हमने डिवाइड कर लिया ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑगस्ट का टाइम डिवाइड कर लिया जी सर सबके शेड्यूलिंग कर दी कि किसका कौन सा क्लास रहेगा आपके पास टाइम टेबल है हाँ जी आपको भी पता है कि इस क्लास में कौन आएगा मुझको भी पता है कि मुझको किस क्लास में जाना है जी सर तो हो गया कि नहीं सर बट एक चीज जैसे आपने बोला कि जो टाइम स्लॉट्स हैं वो बांटे वो टाइम स्लॉट्स उसी में मल्टीपल उसको यूज करते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly. वो अभी और और डिटेल में बात करेंगे और डिटेल में बात करेंगे और डिटेल में बात करेंगे तो देर आर फोर क्लासेस और सिक्स क्लासेस आपकी हैं सब एक एक घंटे की क्लास है सबके शेड्यूलिंग की हुई है कि यहाँ पे आर के टी सर पढ़ाएंगे यहाँ पे हिंगरा सर पढ़ाएंगे यहाँ पे एन के मैम पढ़ाएंगी यहाँ पे सरिन सर पढ़ाएंगे यहाँ पे पी एस ए पढ़ाएंगे इंसिडेंटली दूसरा भी क्लास पी एस एस सर का है तो सब अपने अपने टाइम पे जाते हैं और अपना काम पढ़ा करके चले आते हैं कोई कंफ्यूजन नहीं नहीं सर सो द डेज वर्क हैज बिन डिवाइडेड इनटू स्लॉट्स ऑफ वन आवर द शेड्यूल इज फ्लोटेड फ्यूचर प्रोग्राम इज नोन ये क्लास का प्रोग्राम कल ही मालूम था आज सब अपने टाइम पे आ रहे हैं पढ़ा के जा रहे हैं जी सर तो सिमिलर वे थोड़ा सा टाइम ऊपर हो गया बट हम लोग लेट से जाएंगे पंद्रह मिनट का ब्रेक मिलेगा आपको देर आर वेरियस शेप्स दे हैव टू ट्रांसमिट देयर डेटा पोजीशन, कोर्स स्पीड आईडी, टाइप नेम कॉल्सन एक्सेट्रा तो अ पीरियड ऑफ वन मिनट is divided into small parts bahut chote chote parts mein ek minute ko hum bahut sare period mein divide kar dete hain call time slots aur sab jahaz apni apni jagah transmit karte hain jab unka time aata hai 
तो अपने ही टाइम पे ट्रांसमिट करते हैं दूसरे के टाइम पे नहीं करते तो टाइम इज डिवाइडेड एंड मल्टीपल पीपल आर एक्सेसिंग स्लॉट्स फ्रॉम द सेम डिवीजन ऑफ टाइम मल्टीपल शिप्स यूजिंग द सेम टाइम स्लॉट लाइक वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल द शिप्स आर वर्किंग हो सकता है किसी कंपनी किसी कंपनी का हो लेकिन उस एरिया में सारे शिप जो है एज ए फैमिली काम करते हैं एज ए ग्रुप काम करते हैं कोई किसी को इंटरफेयर नहीं करता सबको अपना प्रोग्राम पता होता है मेरा टाइम ये मेरा टाइम ये कैसे पता होता है कोई बाहर से बताता है क्या नहीं क्या करते हैं वो ब्रेक के बाद सो नाउ दैट वी हैव ओवर शॉर्ट द टाइम बाई फाइव मिनट्स विल मीट after 5 minutes i mean by a delay of 5 minutes so 445 tha 450 ko hum log fir se milte hain and then we talk further about this theek hai 450 mein milna hai ha ji kuch bole ऑल राइट ब्रेक के बाद मिलते हैं फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ब्रेक